Investing is only for the rich. Well, not true. Here's how you can start investing with just $500. Hi guys, Stanley here. I'm the co-founder of ValueInvestAsia.com, an investment portal where I will give you investment news and also in-depth analysis on listed company every single week. So if you are new to this channel, remember to hit that subscribe button so you will not miss out on any of our videos. Anyway, this video is sponsored by Scythe and we're going to dip deeper into how a platform like Scythe can help investors like ourselves achieve something that might be very difficult to do on our own, which is to invest with a small capital. And this is one of the most common questions that I'm getting from new investors. Basically, how much do we really need to start investing? I believe that regardless of whether we have just a thousand dollars or a million dollars to invest, capital will always be a limiting factor for us. This is because we can invest anywhere across the world, across multiple asset classes. And how we choose to use our investment with our limited capital will determine how successful we are in the long term. In the past, it does require a large amount to start investing. Brokerage fee in the past can be quite high, making it not economical to invest with small amount of money. But today in Singapore, most of the major brokerage are offering brokerage fee as low as just $8.80. This means that if we are investing in one stock with just $880, we are only spending 1% on brokerage fee, which is an amount I think still reasonable if we are just starting out. However, what if we want to create a more diversified portfolio with an amount even smaller than that. What option do we really have? Maybe we can go into newer asset classes like peer-to-peer -peer lending or cryptocurrency, where we can indeed invest with a smaller amount, but those asset classes are so much riskier than investing in stocks. So for a more conservative investor like myself, it's not something that is very appealing to me. So far, one of the best solutions that I found to start investing safely with maybe just $500 is through a platform like Scythe. I was introduced to Scythe and have been researching more about them through their platform. Scythe is a MAS licensed robot advisor platform that allows us to invest in stocks, bonds, and even the commodity market quite easily. So let's take a look at their platform. From the dashboard, we can choose to invest in fixed portfolio that is managed by their robot advisors such as their core growth, balance, or defensive portfolio to suit our own investment objective and also risk appetite. They basically do that by investing through a various of ETF to give us the right exposure within each portfolio. And if we want to recreate such a portfolio on our own, we will need to invest a minimum amount for each ETF to offset the brokerage fee that we talk about. But because Scythe has no brokerage fee and no minimum investment amount required, and also all their dividends are automatically reinvested for us at no charges, we can basically start investing into a very diversified portfolio at any amount. And that is really good news. For new investors, I think the most simplest way is to invest through their core portfolio option. These portfolios are mainly invested in the US market and we can choose to focus more on either growth stocks or maybe build a more defensive portfolio with some bond investment. But what I'm really interested in is their latest feature that they just launched the custom portfolio. With this option, it seems that I can select through hundreds of ETF to create the portfolio that I specifically want. So this is what I'm gonna try it out today. Okay, after registering for an account which can be done fully online, we can start creating the portfolio that we want. The two custom strategy that we can create is either to invest based on teams or a fully customized one. I think teams will be quite useful for someone like myself who already have a portfolio that I'm managing. But there are some sectors and industry I'm unfamiliar with to pick stock confidently. So I can use their team's option to invest in some of the sectors that I'm not that familiar with. They have a few options here, but just at a glance, I can see that healthcare innovation might be something interesting to me. I've always believed that healthcare will be a great long-term sector to invest in. Especially through this pandemic, I think everyone will see the huge benefit and potential of the healthcare sector. But this is also a sector that I'm quite unfamiliar with and I'm not confident enough to choose individual stocks within the sector. In this case, I can continue to manage my personal portfolio 
but maybe consider a sub portfolio that might invest into the healthcare innovation teams here on Scythe. So that is how I might use this option. Let's take a look at its custom portfolio option. I think this option is very useful for more experienced investors. There are hundreds of ETF to choose from for us to create a bespoke portfolio. But this process can require us to do a little bit of research first. Scythe does help a little here by showing some recommendation, either through trends or also looking at the top and bottom performers among the ETF. Let's choose to view all in this case. Wow, there's so many to choose from. I think let's run through two sample portfolio for you guys here. Let's create one that is ultra high growth focusing on new breakthrough technology. Clearly that type of portfolio will be very risky, so we can filter it through the risk tab. Looking through the list, these are all quite popular ETF. Maybe let's get some exposure to anonymous tech. FinTech is something that I like as well. The ARC next generation internet looks promising. And the space exploration is of course the next frontier here. Maybe we can add a few more things like cybersecurity, cloud computing, and robotics. Okay, now we can view the ETFs that we have selected and how our portfolio will look like. It seems like we can even manage to change the weightage on each ETF. Hmm, that's a great option. Below, we can view more information about this custom portfolio that we created, like maybe their past records, the company that we're actually investing in, the sector, and also the country exposure. I see that they also have a risk rating here, <laughs> telling me that the portfolio I selected is highly risky. Well, I have to agree on that one. Okay, on the flip side, let's look at how we can create a very safe portfolio, maybe with bonds. Let's filter the list again, but we will just look at safer investment now. I can say I really like their color indicator on the side here, telling me which asset classes these ETF are based on. I think orange is for equity, blue is of course here for bonds, purple is for REITs, and pink is for commodities. Now let's create a bond portfolio together. I like some long-term US treasury, some emerging market bonds will be good. Interesting, we can add some silver ETF as well. Since we already have silver, we must have gold as well. Okay, let's end it off with some international bonds. Looking at the portfolio I created, I am not gonna adjust the weightage here. I think a balanced portfolio looks pretty good. If you want to know more information about each particular ETF, I think we can click on the view more here. Again, we can view the information about the custom portfolio its past return, the composition breakdown, and so this portfolio we are mainly investing in government bonds. And of course the overall risk indicator. Wow, it's uh, showing level 2. I thought I have already created quite a safe portfolio. I really wonder what we need to do to create a level 1 low risk portfolio. Maybe that's for when we keep everything in cash. Okay, there you have it. You can create all this portfolio and there's no minimum required investment amount so we can really start with very small amount, say just a few hundred dollars. I think that is a very attractive option for investors with a limited budget. But before we go, i really like to find out how Scythe is making money. Because i would like to find out how a company is earning the money to make sure that the business is sustainable and also I might not turn out to be the product. <coughs> Facebook. <laughs> so based on Scythe pricing page, they charge us a asset management fee. So it means that if we invest in their platform, we do not need to pay any commission, but our invested capital will be charged a management fee. This starts at around 0.65% a year. I think given that our brokerage fee per trade can be up to 1% if we are starting with small amount, the size pricing is still very attractive. But I do like it that it gets cheaper as our asset grow, and it potentially can go down to as low as 0.35%. I think it's good to know that all these management fees are only charged based on the amount that we have invested. So if we are keeping some money in their cash plus account, those will not be charged the management fees. Okay, let's look a little bit deeper on what other fees we need to pay. It seems that the main other fees that we need to pay is the ETF management fee itself, which will be charged by the ETF managers and deducted directly from our invested capital. Scythe claimed that this amount is around 0.15 to 0.24 of the portfolio. I think that's a quite a very reasonable amount and might even be lower than what we have to pay if we are investing in this ETF directly. We can double check that. Let's look at ARC Innovation ETF. I think here you can see that if we are to invest in this ETF directly, 
we have to pay about 0.75% a year. Hmm. So it means that Scythe is actually cheaper even after adding on their management fee. Well, as long as our portfolio is big enough. Well, so I guess how I see Scythe is really like a wholesaler of ETF. If we buy directly from this ETF, we are still getting the retail pricing. But if we go through Scythe, sometimes we can get to enjoy the wholesale price. Right, this is the first look at Scythe investing platform. If you are interested to try out the platform, registration process will only take a few minutes. I really like their new custom portfolio features and now we can create a portfolio that is truly our own, even if we are starting out with a very limited budget. This is a great way for us to create a safe and diversified portfolio right at the beginning. Hope you enjoyed this video. Anyway, as always, till we meet again, my name is Stanley. Invest safely.